We've been seeing increasing levels of damage from billbugs on warm season turf and that have been connected to recent sod shipments. As you can see in this photograph of a recently sodded driving range, uh, half the sod came from a, a location that was heavily infested with bill bugs, and that's the sod that looks like it's just generally declining and kind of straw colored. And the other half of the sod came from a facility that had no bill bug infestation whatsoever. When we looked underneath the damaged sod, we saw a fairly heavy uh, sprinkling of large billbug larvae, and these were responsible for causing the damage that we were seeing on top. The problem isn't restricted to Bermuda grass, though. In this recently laid Kikuya grass sod, we also saw characteristic billbug damage, almost a kind of a dollar spot uh, look uh, in the turf. And when we looked underneath in the thatched soil interface, we saw once again uh, billbug larvae uh, that were present. For a quick refresher on uh, sizes associated with different billbug stages, take a look at the two large larvae uh, in the center of this photograph. These are each uh, about a third of an inch long, maybe even larger. These are the larvae that we see in the soil when we uh, lift up damaged turf. These billbug larvae have gotten so big that they can no longer fit inside the stems and stolons of the turf that they're feeding on. They actually fall out uh, into the soil and that's where we see them. One of the reasons that billbugs are so hard to detect though is that the small larvae, which is the one furthest to the right uh, in this photograph, feed inside the stems for a good portion of their lives. And there, they're impossible, almost impossible, for us to find. So we never see them until they've done the bulk of their damage. And then just as a reminder, uh, the billbug adult uh, furthest to the left is quite small compared to the size of the large larvae, about a quarter of an inch long. When we take the billbug damaged Kikuya grass sod back to the lab, the first thing you notice is how easily the turf plants just pull right off of the surface. When we look into the soil profile, you can see a few small holes or cells, and it's inside those cells that billbug larvae, the large ones that have already uh, eaten through the stems and stolons, are gonna be uh, found, and here we just dug the first one out of one of those uh, small cells and uh, you can get a little bit of a closer look at uh, just sort of classic looking billbug larva, head, body, nothing else, no legs. Take a look also at the plants themselves, the chewed off stems and stolons, the hollowed out stems and stolons that billbug feeding creates. This is a very good diagnostic as well. So just a few uh, points. First, when you're looking for evidence of bill bugs, the surface symptoms, as you see here, are critical. But to really make sure they're there, you need to look underneath the turf and the soil and look for those large bill bugs that have emerged from stems and stolons. You also need to look at the plants themselves for signs that this bill bugs have been feeding inside the plant or have even chewed off the plants at the uh, su surface interface. And finally, uh, follow the link at the end of this um, video to give you some suggestions on how to avoid getting more billbug infestations through new sod installations at your golf course. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.